Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. Um, thank you so much for all the comments and the likes and the subscribes. And what I want to do tonight is I want to put together a video with a whole lot of comments for any ideas that we have. Because one of the most popular videos I've done is how we used to live and how we will have to live again. Um, tonight I was thinking how we used to live isn't going to cut it because we don't have the same that we had back then. So let me tell you what I'm thinking and let's see if we can come up with some answers because there's some things that are going to make a huge difference to people and it's going to make things more difficult. So the first thing <clears throat> that is going to make a difference to people is most of the stories and most of the comments that I read on that How We Used To Live video talk about a central fire, a coal fire um, that we all used to gather around, etc, etc. So many people don't have that now. So if you think in our parents' day, or certainly my parents' day, do you know, as long as we got coal, that would heat the, the main room. And so that was your budget, was you had, you know, coal was one of your biggest things. But if push came to shove, you could probably burn some wood and such things, or you could go and, and get some off a friend. You know, there was ways and means. Um, then the next thing was your cooker. So if people don't have a central fire now, if their heating is the central heating, which does the whole house, so you need to then what go round and switch off all the other radiators and have one radiator in your sitting room that doesn't give out heat the same way that a fire did it's not that you can all gather round and stay warm in front of a radiator it just doesn't work like that so that is going to be a big difference from how we used to live to how we live now um people without a central fire and I'm so thankful I made the decision to get a wood burner put in here because that's going to make a huge difference. Um, so anyone with any suggestions on how can we make life easier for people who don't have a central heat source, that would be a, a big thing. So anyone that can have helpful hints, please put it in the comments. The other thing was we could make cheap nourishing meals um, because the electricity, although still not dirt cheap, it certainly wasn't the percentage of your wages that it's going to be now. So you could have soup bubbling away in the stove for a few hours. You could have stews bubbling away in the oven or on the stove for a few hours. Or if you had a central fire that had a cooking facility, then you could have it there. People are going to struggle to, to do that now. Because, again, that's electricity and the that's the problem is, is the price of energy. Whether it's electricity to light your lights or light your cooker or even gas to put on your gas cooker, that's going to be so much more expensive. And, you know, again, going back to how we used to live, it wasn't that big a problem having a stew on the stove for a while. So what have we got to get past that? I know that getting canned food is a really good idea um if there's anything else that anyone can think of then by all means give me a shout um the other thing that i i, I just thought of basically because of how i'm dressed um as you can see t-shirt when i was a kid we didn't wear t-shirts in september or october um because the house was too cold um your t-shirts got put away for the summer and then in the winter you had on a vest and then your shirt and then your jumper and if you were cold, I just used to get told, go and, put on, go and put on another jumper. And so I was thinking about it, I thought, well, yeah, we need to get back to seasonal clothing. You can't expect to be living in a t-shirt and, and keep your house warm enough to be in a t-shirt. Um, which some of us have done um, over the years. I know I have some years. But when it comes to winter, I think we need to, to look at the layering up. We need to stop saying, right, you know, Stop wearing so many t-shirts, wear long sleeve tops instead. Um, try and get 
warmer clothes to layer up. I know it sounds so stupid, I sound like a five-year-old talking, but I know myself, there's so many people I know are walking about in t-shirts when the weather gets cooler because their house is warm enough. Your house isn't going to be warm enough now, so you need to have better clothing. And the other thing, and it's, it's the last thing on the list that I've got here, the quality of clothing. Now, even if you went to a jumble sale, a lot of the stuff that you got was cotton or wool. Hand-me-downs could last through three or four kids or more. The fast fashion that we're buying just now, you're lucky if it lasts one season, as in one summer or one winter. Um, so the availability of good quality clothing is a bit of a problem. There's there's many people don't have any good quality clothing, not for the fact of they can't afford it, but for the fact of they've never thought of it because there's always the, the cheap, you know, turnover with the fast fashion, etc. But things like woolen jumpers are going to become invaluable this winter. And I think if you can get them in a charity shop just now, that would be a really good call. Um, getting proper winter jackets, if you can get them, anything you can do. Because, as I say, how we used to live, we, we lived on hand-me-downs because they were woolen jumpers, they lasted. There's not a lot lasts nowadays and certainly not to last to come down, you know, to last a few years. I've seen myself even with some of the, the nylon jumpers that you throw on and, you know, the cuffs are free and the necklines free and etc and the nylon they're not designed to keep in the heat they're a fashion statement so yeah this is this is where i was like do you know how we used to live and and yes yeah, it's, it's great it, it does give us a very very good basis for getting through this time because i mean i just saw boris johnson on sky news harping on again about the 400 pound and the 150 pound that's one month of energy costs. What about the rest of the year? And they're just, you know, regurgitating the same stuff with no advice, no help. Um, you know, and they're, they're being very, very cagey about that. Oh, there's no problem with the energy in, in Britain. You know, we won't have blackouts. Uh-huh. Yeah, eat my hat sort of stuff. So I think it's very important that we focus on you know, how we are going to live this winter and how we used to live can help. But there's a lot of changes compared to how we used to live. So anyone who, if you've got any ideas that can help someone who doesn't have a central heating source in their home, if you've got any ideas for people to get, um, you know, proper hard wearing clothing or anything, then please do put it in the comments. So I am now going to go and have my chicken chasseur with my broccoli which I'm cooking from my prepping and I will catch you later.